In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove uh, automatically all of the gaps that there might be between a subtitle. So first, let me explain what, what am I referring to. And so we see this clip here. If I hit play... You're communicating to them that they are important. And... Uh, Notice that he finished his line, and now nothing is showing. And another big thing... And then the uh, next text pops up. Parent for parents, for parenting is to be an example. I mean, it's, it's just... Now that went right one, right after the other. There was no type of gap. That's number one. You've got, you've got to be an example. I mean, words got to be there too. There again, it went well. But, uh, and now you have another gap. So why, why is this something that is even a problem? Well, number one is that when you translate something into another language, sometimes you actually have more text that that person has to read anyways. And you want that text to show as long as you possibly can. Uh, the worst thing that could happen is the subtitle pops up, they don't get to finish reading it, and it hides itself. And you might be setting the time for that uh, time coding it where it hides right when they finish saying the phrase, but that's not actually going to be helpful because they won't have time to read it. Now, are there really long pauses um, in certain areas of a video where it would be good to have nothing showing? Yes. But for most um, excerpts and clips and interviews and sermons, it, it's just bang, 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 one thing after another. And so to add in there some type of gap where no subtitle is showing, you're, you're not giving them more time to actually read um, what, what was being said. So that's, that's number one, one of the reasons. And a second reason um, that, that people who've read, read the subtitles has been communicated to me is that it actually can hurt the eyes if you've got everything popping up and down like that, where you have the text there, then it's gone, and then it kind of blinks back on, and then you have it again. But when you have it just solid all together, it's easier on the eyes. So let's hit play again. But our example, our life, our choices speak so much louder than our words. And when they... Even there, it, it appeared like there was maybe a millisecond of, of I see gap. you consistently all thinking in terms of God, thinking in terms of... Okay, so let's go back to the one phrase i think it was around five minutes important okay and so at four minutes and 58 seconds so let's look at the subtitle file four minutes 58 seconds um right here okay so right here the subtitle starts displaying at uh, four minutes and 53 seconds and it's going to hide at four minutes and 57 seconds and so what we're going to do is just run um a script in a program that will automatically fix all of these and it will it will take the time here and put that here because you do not want the start time to change you you're, you don't want the subtitles to show up uh, before the person's actually speaking that would not be good what you're wanting or before the person um, says the exact thing they say what you're wanting is once they finish speaking, let's keep those subtitles up longer so people have a bigger opportunity to read them. And so it's just not flashing in and out where you got a second between all these subtitles. A lot of this depends on who, cre who did the time coding, um, who actually transcribed it in English, who actually set the timings. Because a lot of ways people do it, it's not going, it's going to create a gap between those two lines. So we're going to use something called um, AEGI sub. Um, and we're going to go ahead and hit file and open your SRT file. And we could look at the line. We're on line 53. So we could look at that line over here. 53 is right here. So there our issue is. And we can simply fix this by going to timing and then make times continuous. So removing gaps, it's just gonna be continuous. And um, we're going to 
change the end time, not the beginning time. Now, if you notice, I had one line selected and it just did it. So let's go ahead and control A, select all the lines, and let's do make times continuous, and we're going to do change end. And now it just did that on the entire subtitle file. So I'm going to save that. And then I'm going to um, reload my subtitles here. Let me just real quick add a little more style. And now we're going to watch this again. Very important. And uh... so now while he's saying and um, the subtitle is still displaying. So they have enough time to read it and it doesn't disappear before they're done reading that line. And another big thing uh, is par for parents, for parenting is to be an example. I mean, it's, it's... So the entire clip, if you just scroll through it, you're, you're going to have it be continuous. There's no um, sacred and secular with God. It's all... And, you know, if we were to add a um, opaque background here, and all hold look like that. That's that's one of the areas where people say to be continuous is a lot easier on the eyes. Well, there's some truth in that, of course, but it's also there's some there's a, there's something that's not true in it. Paul says in First Corinthians seven, if you married, why then your concern is for the things of the world, how to please your wife or your husband. So, this this is in short a the quickest way that I know of right now. Um, with AEGI -E -E sub to um, make everything continuous. And, and a lot of the old subtitles that um, I even did had gaps, and I was able to load those in there and just like that uh, make it all continuous and change all of the end times to where the subtitles will stay up longer. And I, in the videos that you are doing where you know there is a section where there's like a six or seven second gap or three even maybe three seconds and you don't want it to be continuous then you just have to manually go in there and um and edit that line if if you wanted to be very particular uh, a lot of times for sermons that's not the issue if it's something more like a short film then that would make sense where you're you're not wanting it to be as continuous so i hope this is helpful and um, if we find another method or there's something that changes on this, we'll obviously, uh, I'll update this video. And um, if you have any questions or something to add, make sure to comment on that below uh, on translatesermons.com. Thank you.